PAQ presents Dress to Impress. So in this episode, we're challenging ourselves to each style and outfit to go on a date. People at our age go on dates, but you know, the question that always comes up is, what do we wear? You gotta kinda like keep it as if you're going to your nan's house. You wanna look like presentable, but you don't wanna look too over the top. Clearly, Danny has never been on a date. <laughs> not close to a date. <laughs> Nats, our friend, is gonna come down and date all four of us. What a lucky girl. She's been brought in as like an unbiased judge so she can properly like judge us on outfits. On just all like the aspects of a date really. Some of us like going on dates. Actually I don't think any of us like going on dates. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go find our fits, we're gonna plan our dates. Should be fun. You guys ready? The crep check right now isn't really saying much. So about to go turn the shit up. Yeah, it's looking pretty live. There's things you could wear to a potential date. I mean depending on your style. This one was not shirt bangs. Just a simple Tommy Hilfiger jumper. But like you can never have too many waistcoats. This waistcoat is amazing. Got this in a charity shop for like a pound, I think. So we checked out Edge Star. Um, had some quite live stuff, but I'm about to go check another spot right now. You know, I'm seeing some nice kicks. Fucking with it. If it's dating, I would only really go box fresh. I got these sick trousers, but then I weighed 44, so I'm wearing them suspenders. But they're fucking huge, man. They're fucking dench, bro. Like, you can put like two families in there, man. I'm gonna go with the safest option, just wear the pants and see what I can do with these. Just left sneaks and stuff. Got my kicks. I'm making this collage. I hope that she can see this as like a cool, friendly gesture. If she turns it in my face and she says it's creepy or whatever, then obviously to each their own in it, like, calm in it. Just arrived at Victoria Park, waiting for Nat to arrive. I'm feeling nervous, I ain't gonna lie, like... That's for you, mate. That is for me. Christ. Hiya. Hiya. Nice to meet you. You too. He was wearing like a mustardy coloured AMI jumper and like a pair of battered old Doc Martens. What? <laughs> Didn't expect to be on a pedlo. He got stung by a wasp. A wasp just kind of like flew into my hair and then uh, as I tried to get it out, it stung me. I kind of panicked more than he did. He took it like a real G. I think I kind of get where Danny was going with his look, but all in all, it just didn't really do it for me. I'm really sorry, babe, but you look like you kind of just walked out of the set of that 70s show. We are at Rowan's Bowl. The reason why I picked bowling is because I thought it'd just be pretty chill, have some fun, have a laugh, just go inside, wait for that, play some fucking bowling. Do so you look nice today? You look nice too. We're in the same grip though. I saw the track top and I thought, yeah, it was okay. I saw the jeans and I feel like you can't really go wrong with a black pair of jeans. And then I saw the vans and realised we both had the same pair of vans on. It took a while to kind of pick up, but like, I feel like after he won bowling, which I unfortunately lost, that like, he kind of had some confidence. As soon as you feel it come around here, mm -hmm. release, go straight. Okay. Bye. Just like that, yeah? yeah just like that. Um, I won basketball. He kept on doing nice little things as well, like making sure I got to go first and whatnot. It was cute. It was actually like really fun. I really had a good time. Thank you for bowling. I liked it. It was fun. Thank you for coming and enjoying yourself, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm mad awkward. This is cameras. This, allow me. I found one of my old shirts that I used to wear when I was at like school or something and it still fit me, which was sick. And it had a colour, so I cut it all off. So it gave me like this like little high colour, like no colour. You know what I'm trying to say. Hi. Hey. Nice to, to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. So Shaq, yeah, I loved Shaq's look. He was smart and he didn't really overdo it. He was wearing a pair of Axel Arigato trainers which were like fresh out of the box. Yeah, I made you something. Oh my gosh, no way. Yeah, man. Look at that. Gold star. That's really <laughs> cute. Thank you. I thought going to a gallery was a really good idea. I don't know, it's a good place to really get to know someone's sentimental side. That is really sad, I can't even lie. 
that actually, that actually touched me a little bit. Painting, collage thing, definitely got brownie points. They could have finished the top of her head though. Oh. Do you know what I mean? That's such what? a part. It was good conversation, there weren't any awkward moments, it was a good vibe and he definitely got like extra points for that painting. Look at the effort I've gone to. If she turns up in like head to toe like tracksuit, I'm going to look like an absolute milkman. The matching in our Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's kind of natural sauce has just come out. Yeah, thank you. No worries. Nice. Take a seat. Thank you. You like your bling today? I'm, I'm feeling the, the sequins on the top there and the chain. Like, there's a lot going on. Oh my God, Elias, that Supreme custom chain was so bad. Like, what were you thinking? Honestly, he looked like he just came out of a Run DMC music video. Oh my god, they sell rabbit, potted and a masala rabbit. I've only had like the Chinese rabbit. <laughs> you know, you the crispy rabbit? duck. Nah. Oh no, raw. I'm there, dog. <laughs> so I felt bad that he had to spend so much money and like neither of us left feeling satisfied with the meal. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. The rest of his outfit actually was really nice. He looked quite smart and I feel like that was good because we did go to a fancy restaurant. He also got like these Converse neighborhood collab trainers. Definitely got a bonus point for those. I've been on all the dates now, so I'm going to text them all one after the other so they get the scores at the same time. I hope they're not angry with me for their results. I want to hear how you guys' dates went. It was awkward. <laughs> No, nah, it, it wasn't too bad to be fair, like. We played on um, some shooting game and her gun broke, so I was like, oh, I'll give you my gun. Oh, top boy. <laughs> what a gentleman. What a gentleman. a gentleman. You know when you hand the thing that the strap? <laughs> I made like a, like a little collage painting about her with like a poem written on it. Come on, let me hear the poem then. It's on my phone. S see what bars you got. Beauty, like the night sky. Her luminous eyes remind me of the moonlight. The diamonds in her ears remind me of the stars. Her hair flows down majestically like raindrops of the Amazon. Her lips move like a still lake. I've never seen anything so beautiful, except in the night sky. <laughs> anyway, boys, that all sounds great, but I'm intrigued to see who's been rated the shittest data <laughs> and who's been rated the best. So like, I'm just, let's just wait for this. I'll be burnt if I don't at least come first or second, like. <laughs> at least come first. First or second, bruv. Oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on, here we go. Oh. Hi Danny, thanks for taking me on a date to Victoria Park. I've never been on a peddler before, so it was nice. I hope you're okay after being stung by a wasp. I score you six for the outfit as is a bit too smart for the occasion, seven for the overall date. Overall 13. Really nice to meet you. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, I can feel the message coming from a distance, like, yeah, yeah. It's about to go ping. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dex. Thanks for bowling yesterday. I had a great time beating you at basketball. <laughs> She's like a laughing Shit. emoji as well. The conversation took a while to start flowing, but I really enjoyed it towards the end. You scored a 8.5 for the date, and I liked your outfit choice. I scored you a 7.5, total school 16. Oh, that's, that's, really, that's really good, man. Yeah, that's, that's not good. that bad. Yeah, that's that's not that bad. Raw. Yeah. Hold on, what did you get for the day? For the oh shit, dog. Don't oh, worry about shit, that. Shit, 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 dog. Hi, Shaq. I had a great time at the gallery. It was a great choice as it allowed us to really talk and get to know each other. You also get a bonus for the painting. Jeez. I score you a nine point five for the day and an eight for the overall outfit of choice. Overall, seventeen point five. Thirty. Jeez. Jeez. It's coming. Yeah, I ain't trying to again, fam. No, I forgot. I lost, fam. <laughs> what? Take her out. There you go. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even want to read it. Hey, Elias. Thank you for the date. We had a lot of laughs, but I feel you had overdone it with a restaurant choice <laughs> as we barely ate any of the food <laughs> and the bill was very expensive. You scored a 7.5 for the date and an 8 for the outfit. You look smart, but the bling might have been too much. <laughs> Overall, 15.5. 
This is the last time I wine and dine a thing. Never again. Ever. You know what? Just be yourself. Don't take a girl to a posh restaurant where you both can't understand the menu. Take her to Nando's. Done. The tears in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> tears? What? <laughs> what? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. So this was dressed to actually underdress to impress. See you guys on the next episode.